I just fixed this earlier and I went to the store and came back and look what happened. The squirrel came back to the same container. I guess this one doesn't have a wire like the others do. So, guess I'm gonna have some more sticks in here for him. I can't believe this, look at this crap. He just dug it all up. Here we go again. Remember this container? This is the one I had all this stuff on it. Hopefully I have a video. I, can I have a video of it. If I can show it to you if I remember to. But anyway, I'm going to put my cabbages in here. This is big enough. Oh, man. Listen, listen to that. So this is going to be a quick one. Anyway, I'm just going to put these at the bottom. And move on. I have a lot of stuff to do today. And this is it. So let me get this plan out. Get this at the bottom, halfway down at the bottom. And then I'm gonna, cause I have so much mulch containers and I don't have a chance. I, I don't have a, the time to, I know I have some ready to use, but time right now is it. Today is it. After today, I won't be able to plant out for at least a month or so. Cause I'm trying to get everything done today. That's why I've been plant planting like crazy for the last couple of days. Just for the moment. Anyway, that's, let me get this done two hands and get the cabbage plant out. My winter sowing, Swiss chard and spinach. Which I should have planted out already. Spinach over here. Oh, wow. I just dropped the whole thing. Tough thing, but it didn't mess up. Okay, so we start on this side. And I planted them 7 March. So, what I'm going to do with this, they're small, but I'm going to transplant somebody anyway. My cabbage. I put two cabbage in here so they can have the room to expand. But this is a big container, so I'm going to stick a couple of Swiss chard along the side and some spinach. Just for now. I can always transplant them later on, but right now I need to do need to transplant them out and I have a lot of stuff I need to plant out. So I keep saying that. So let me go separate some of this. And I want to put it in a container and flat it down. So I can do this here. One hand. Yeah. Just try on this side. This suffering because I had them. I guess it, it's getting hot. It has gotten hot. So, let's see what I got out of here. And that's too many. Switch to with this container. But for now, anyway, I can always transplant them out later. Then I need to just get them out of the container and get them in the thing. And I'm just going to go around and stick them in little areas. Oops. Oops. Camera angle. Same thing I say every year. And I'm not going to put a lot in there. I mean, the container is nice. Nice size. But I'm not trying to, you know, just that I want the cabbage to have room to expand. Spinach out. Spinach. I'm putting three and three. And I'm just finding containers and stick the others in. Like I say, if push comes to shove, I can always take them out. It gets too crowded. Okay, so first one that cat two cabbages. I'm gonna find some ways to put the other cabbages and some of these. So cabbage and transplant in my window so. My winter sowing containers. 
6th of March. This is kale and color greens. Spinach and Swiss chard. Spinach and Swiss chard. I have been sticking them here and there. I don't have them. I didn't have a dedicated container for them. I was just sticking them, you know, a little bit here and a little bit there. And then I realized I had this container over in the back all covered up with nothing in it. Matter of fact, I didn't plant anything in this last year. The reason I have to be careful with this is because it is heavy to move. And it's on a tray. And the tray keeps water. Whenever it rains, it keeps a lot of water in it. And I can't, I can't drain it. I tried. But it was too heavy to move around and not just the heavy part but there's so much it's my air is compact you know so trying to get it around all this stuff i would have to take everything down just to move it around and it was too much of an asshole so i didn't do it so nothing was oh nothing was planned last year this year I'm, this year I'm going to put the kale and the spinach in here. Different containers went to sewing, but it's still went to sewing. But uh, the kale on this side, they're beautiful too. Yeah. Kale. I'm going to put them in here. And this is the color greens. I want to put the color greens in a separate container. Look at, I need to see if I can find a five gallon container for the color greens. So let me see if I can do this one hand. Again, kale. And it's not a lot in there. I don't remember how many seeds I planted, but it's not a lot. So I'm gonna take the whole thing out. All that's left now is the color greens. As you can see, it's only like one, I think maybe five plants of color greens came up. So I'm gonna find myself a five year and continue to put them in there. For now, anyway. Over here. Small little guys. Some of these are small, which is fine. And I'm like I said, I'm gonna put I'm putting two in two different things in this container. It's a nice size container. And I was doing good earlier. It was so quiet, but I was so busy planting. I didn't make a lot of videos because you already have an idea what I'm doing. But since I'm doing this, the winter sewing, I decided to do the video, but I guess I start the video and the kids are out playing. So, and that's it on the the kill. Oh, not a lot. But it's still great. I mean, this is enough. Okay, and I said I was going to do the kale and the spinach. That's a Swiss shot. I've been digging out Swiss shot all day. That's the number one I have been transplanting. I transplanted a few Okay, now this is uh, Swiss chard. No, this is. Yeah, I know I got my tags mixed up, but yeah, I have spinach. Yeah, this is Swiss chard. So this is the spinach on this side. Oh yeah, it's on the back. So let me see how much of the spinach I can get out without destroying the whole. I got most of it out, and it's a lot. And the poor things were suffering because it's it got really warm, you know. It got really warm from the, the the cool weather. It just went straight up hot. So they were still in the container and they were struggling. I'm not even gonna separate all of it. I'm just gonna plant them in chunks. Later on, I can separate them. Right now, I just wanna get them in the soil. And like I said, you can see how, how they are. They were suffering in that container. Summers, I don't think those are gonna make it. 
But I'm going to plant them out anyway and see. And I forgot what spinach these were. Guess I look back on the back video, I can tell what it is. And I hope I remember to write it to write it down when I post this. Yeah, so yeah, I'm doing it in chunks. Just let me find the roots in all these right here. I'm planting by the root. There's the root right there. This one doesn't have a root, so I guess I'll keep that. There's a root for this one. This one doesn't have a root. I broke two off. Okay. I'll have them for dinner. Tiny little, but early. Maybe tiny little thing, but it's early. Spinach. Male. Any more seeds? Yep. I'm just looking for the roots now. I don't want to leave anything in here. So they'll die. They might die anyway, but I'd rather give them a shot. So I'm put this right here. Anything else? Oops, there's a root. Okay, so this is my spinach and my kale, winter sowing. Just transplanted it out. Now the three pieces I'm gonna throw in something because those got messed up when I took them out of the container. And I think there was maybe two pieces. Yeah, there's two pieces left in there. I might as well go ahead and take them out. And just put them in here too. And see what happens. Like I said, when they get bigger and sturdier, I can transplant them around the place more. But right now I just need to get them out of that container. So there you go. My winter sowing, spinach, and kale. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Take care.